Good evening, Boom Beach. You're watching Snuggles Plays and I'm your host, the one and only, truly incredibly awesome Snuggles. In today's episode, guys, we have got loaded up. Uh, we have got loaded up um, a different a different troop combo today. Um, this is called Bullet's Best and this is a troop combo that uh, Shishka Bobba um, swears by and likes to use for a lot of his attacks and he uh, suggested that I try it out um, so it as you can see it comprises of one boat of tanks two boats of medics and all the rest grens um, so all my troops are max level they're all maxed out um, so I thought today, guys, we would try this troop combination. Oh, and, and also we have Bullet uh, with the energy drink. I think that's what he uses, Bullet with the energy drink and not Taunt. Um, so we've got Dr. T Volcano here on our map. So I thought, I thought we'd try out this combo and see how well it actually works. Now, I would have thought actually that um, maybe two or even um, or even three boats of um, tanks and the rest grens would have worked better with this. And also, when um, shortly after Bullet first came out, I did try using a T Med with Bullet and uh, well, medics, obviously, um, and I found it didn't really work very well because the medics just kept, obviously, because Bullet is so far out in front, the medics just kept running after Bullet and healing, trying to heal Bullet, and whereas they're, they're supposed to be behind the, you know, tanks and, uh, well, behind, in, between, in the middle, in between the um, the tanks and, and the grens, really, he healing the tanks. We don't really want them healing Bullet, um, because he's got his energy drink, he can sort of heal himself, plus he's got just, you know, crap loads of, of health. So we don't really need the medics to be healing bullets. So, and I found that, therefore, because the medics ran out in front with bullet, that they got um, shot at and killed really quickly. So I did try team med with bullet when bullet first came out, and I didn't find it really worked. So, yeah, it would just be interesting to see what happens, guys. So, um... Let's just give it a whirl, I suppose. Um, so we'll press attack here. Obviously, the first few stages are going to be really easy. Um, I don't need to barrage that shock launcher because it's not even in range, but I'm going to anyway just because I can. I don't even need to do any of this. So, right, bullet first. And then every everyone else. I think that's how he does it. Bullet first and then everybody else. So, yeah. Let's just see how this goes. Obviously, they're spreading and going all over the place, but it doesn't matter because it's only stage one. So, there we go. Stage one goes down to Pound Town, as Shish would say. Wee, look at all that smoke. So, there we go. Dr. T Volcano, stage one goes down. Easy peasy. So, obviously... Um, We won't see the full effect of this until the later stages when it obviously gets harder. Um, but we'll have a go. I mean, I, I did I did try this out on a couple of um, player bases on my map earlier, and the first one worked quite well. Um, I only lost two Grens and two Medics, and the second one was a complete disaster, and I just um, lost everyone. I actually very, very, so nearly actually got the base. There was like bugger all health left on the base. Um, so I did nearly get it, but I did lose all of my remaining troops. So that was a bit of a disaster. Um, so let's just um, let's just go for it here. So 
to put it out in front in the tanks and everyone else. Just throw critters everywhere. So yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. See, you know what's worrying me about having the um, just the one boat of tanks is because, like, the tanks are protecting the grenadiers behind, but you've got way more grenadiers than tanks. So it's kind of the two lines are not equal. You haven't got enough tanks. To protect, like, what have we got? We've got 20 grenadiers and three tanks. The three tanks cannot spread out in a line equally across all the 20 grenadiers to protect them. So that's my worry with it, that if you had more tanks, um, if you had more tanks, like another boat or two of tanks, and maybe one boat less of medics, or maybe just no medics, because I do find that they they don't work very well with bullet. They tend to just get themselves killed. But um, yeah. So um, but I've seen I've seen some of um his videos. He's he's used that, and for him, it seems to work very well. And he he's been going up against um going up against you know like bases with lots of ice some boosted and um some have shields as well so and it, it works well for him so i guess it's just a case of learning and practicing and and understanding but i still struggle to see how three tanks can protect 20 grenadiers but um maybe bullet comes in into that equation as well i don't know um barrage that away Barrage that away, throw a barrage there in the middle of those two. There we go. Bullet. Tank. Everyone else. So you see, look, so probably because of where I flared them, I guess, but you've got some of the grenadiers have wandered off down there, which we don't want. So, yes, there we go, Dr. T, stage three. Still no problem, no problem whatsoever. Let's get all the smoke going. 120 gunboats energy worth of smokes. Look how pretty that looks. So yeah. Um, and um, he did mention to me that um, one of the reasons why he has only, only has one boat of tanks is um, obviously for the gunboat energy side of things because obviously as we all know it costs more energy to um, launch tanks um, and so if you only have one boat rather than two boats you're obviously saving some gunboat energy there but I still wonder how one boat of tanks can you know equally protect 20 grenadiers you know especially because at points they're going to sort of split split up and you know go separate ways and I just, I would have thought it would have just got extremely chaotic, really, and you'd lose a lot more troops. But um, I guess with as with any troop combo in this game, guys, it just comes down to practice, 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 and knowing how to land, knowing where to land, knowing which troops to land when, in what order, and knowing when to flare, and all the rest of it. Um, so let's have a look here, guys. So we've got to get rid of the shock. We might as well get rid of those two. Boom, cannons, we'll get rid of some sniper towers over there. We'll 
Right. Bullet. Everybody out. Right, you see, this is what I'm talking about. You see, look, the medics are all running after bullet. So if anything turns on them, which that machine gun is already doing, they could potentially get hit up. See, that sniper tower is now targeting that tank. It doesn't matter because the base is already down. Eee, that's enough to smoke. So there we go, Dr. T stage four. No casualties so far, no casualties. So perhaps it perhaps it perhaps it's not so much just the tanks, perhaps it's the tanks and bullet. Or mainly just bullet, perhaps, that actually just protects the the grenadiers. The bullet bullet protects the tanks and the tanks protect the grenadiers maybe. But I, I still struggle to figure out how, you know, with the numbers and that, because you've got twenty grenadiers and you've only got three tanks and you've only got one bullet. So you know so I, I like to have sort of equal numbers of like you know like with heavy zooka if you have like you know four boats of zookas and four boats of heavies or whatever. I don't know how, I can't do the maths off the top of my head and tell you how many of each of each troop that works out at, but when you see them in nice straight lines, you've got the heavies and then the zookas behind and they're more or less, you know, equal. Um, you've got the heavies, you know, in a line protecting the line of, equally protecting the line of zookas behind. Um, I'm just not sure how with three tanks and one bullet that's going to protect the line of 20 grenadiers behind them. But perhaps I'm missing something here. So let's see here. Don't foresee any problems here. Dr. T stage five. I think we'll land over on the right hand side there. And we will blow that away and blow that away. So I think I don't think I'm landing them quite right. Quite right. Bullet goes first. Then I think it's the tanks. And then I think because the grenades walk faster than the tanks, I think you then. See, Bullet is way up front there, which is what we want him to where we want him to be. He's starting to get hit now, so Okay, so interestingly the medics if the grenadiers start getting hit, the medics do actually run back to the grenadiers and pay attention to them as well which is good. Let's get some critters out. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't want them to go over there. So, yes, yeah, so far, this does seem to be working quite well, although um, so far, these stages have um, really been just ridiculously easy. I mean, as we all know, we don't we don't have prototype weapons on Doctor T. So obviously, if you've got prototype weapons, you know they have to go. Um, let's do some bit of energy drink, even though his energy is not down low, just because we've got all this energy, and we can. And some more smokes for the win. So, yeah. So far, pretty easy stages of Dr. T Volcano today. 
Not having any problems so far with any level. We haven't lost a single troop yet. We might come a cropper on these last two stages though, depending on what they look like. So yeah, um, I will keep trying this, this combo of your shish. I will keep trying on um, player bases and whatnot. Um, okay, this one looks like there's a lot more going on. So we've got... Let's see, got that shock launcher there, which we can ignore, I think. Yeah, we can ignore that. Two boom cannons there, which we can ignore. There's another shock launcher right in the middle there, which we're going to have to blow away. We've got a boom cannon there, which has to go in the three boom cannons there, which really have to go. So I think. I think what we'll do is um um I think what we'll do is we will blow away the shock launcher and both of those boom cannons. There we go. Um, I think we'll also Blow away that boom cannon. Might as well get rid of those as well. There we go. So we got 77 gunboat energy to play with. So. Um, you know what? Let's do... With it, tanks. And everybody else. We'll flare them all down here. That was potentially not the best idea. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now the only thing that could go wrong here, guys, is that we might run out of time. Um, let's start barraging away that boom cannon over there. Keeping an eye on bullets' health. Let's give him an energy drink now. Let's flare them all back over here. Cover up medics. I think we're looking okay. We've lost one medic. No, we've lost two Gren, sorry. Right, let's flare everybody over here now. Oh, we've lost bullet, damn it. I wasn't paying attention, we've lost bullet, but I don't think it actually matters. Whoa, we need a med kit. Let's get a med kit there. We've lost five grenadiers. Bullet's dead, we've lost five grenadiers. Which is not too bad. Not too bad at all, and they're on the call. We've got just under a minute left. We've got 110 gumbo energy, which we could use to just throw on the call, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. So I must say, it, I find it quite hard to keep an eye on Bullet and his health, and also keep an eye on, you know, where your grenadiers and tanks are straying off to in case they're straying off in, in the path of, you know, other boom cannons and 
sniper towers and whatnot. So there we go, lots and lots and lots of smoke. So that's Dr. T, stage six, goes down to Pound Town, as Shish would say. So, so far, this is working out really quite well, but uh, again, we've had very easy stages. There's our guaranteed crystal, we've lost five grenadiers, so that's not too bad, I don't think. Um, five out of 20, let's reinforce. So, Dr. T, stage seven, what have you got for us? Okay, there is the headquarters. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the health for you guys. Health, 140 plus 271,000. That's a building has boost of 194. Let's see. Well, I don't think we'll be going that way. Um, okay, so we're going to have to get rid of that shock launcher. Um... going to have to get rid of those two beam cannons, probably that one as well, and obviously there's one there. I don't foresee problems with anything else guys, so let's just, let's just crack on. So, barraging, see it's not that much health. See, this Dr. T, stage 7, does not have that much health because I was just able to kill those with one barrage and two artillery. So we've got rid of those. Now, if need be, we can shock that boom cannon that's closest to the front there. But I think just in case they stray into the path of this boom cannon... I'm just going to barrage that one as well. There we go. Okay. So, bullet out. Tanks out. Oh shit, bullet's dead. Okay, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. We need to shock. Okay, we're losing. You know what, I'm just going to barrage that. Holy smokes. How many rockets? Jesus. That is an awful lot of rocket fire. That is ridiculous. We are not going to do this, I fear, guys. Um, that is absolutely ridiculous. We have lost two tanks. We've lost bullet. We're losing grenadiers by the second here. Um... Yeah, retreating and retreating because we've got no troops left. Okay, that that was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. So many rockets there. Okay. Um, so it didn't work for stage seven, um, but it worked for everything else. Um, I think I'm going to just land. I think I'm just going to train. Um, You know what, I might just do 4-4 four, four, Scorcher Tank and see what that does. Um, could we do this with all Zookas? Probably. could stand sort of where that sniper tower cannon is, well sniper tower, 
would be in the blind spot of three, four and a half rocket launchers. So then it would be what one shock, two shock, three shock, I don't know, four shocks. Four shocks maybe? Um, let's try all Zookas. Um, so I will come back when uh, my Zookas are trained. There we go, okay. Um, so we'll be back in a minute. Bye! And we're back guys, okay, so we've got all the Zookas loaded up there, let's switch to, um, let's switch to a Brick with her Battle Orders. And let's jump right back into Dr. T Stage 7 with all the Zookas. Right, so I figure if we blow away that sniper tower and stand right about there, we'll be in the blind spot of at least three of these rockets, three and a half, four maybe, so then it's just um, one, two, Three, I don't know, four shocks. Oh, there's a lot of rockets. Oh, I don't know, guys. <clears throat> I do not know. Let's just go for it, I think. I don't know, four or five shocks, but we've got energy, so what the hell. Oh. Okay, so what did we say we were going to do? We're going to barrage. We're going to barrage that away. Like so. Um, get rid of that mine, get rid of that mine, um, I'll just get rid of that mine for good measure I suppose. Alright guys, smoking the landing, one, two, landing like that, perfect landing, smoking over there, and Smoking there, like so. Flare in the headquarters, battle orders, right, we've got 35 gumbo energy, which isn't really a lot. Shocking, shocking, shocking. And med kits. And down it goes, guys. Okay, so that, that wasn't too bad. We didn't lose too many troops there. So there we go, that's all Dr. T seven stages taken down. First six with um, Bullet's Best combo, um, as recommended by Shish, and the last stage by the trusted Orzuka with Brick. So that's going to wrap up the episode. Oh, pardon me, that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. Um, until the next time. Uh, let's just reinforce that. Until the next time, Snuggles is out.